Yeah. Made my way down to the lake where there's a bit of pond dipping going on. Sorry, ladies, to interrupt. I've got Nicolette and Jane Hi. and definitely a couple of interested people as well. <laughs> Do you want to just talk me through how the pond dipping actually works, what you do? Yeah, okay. Well, um, firstly, what we do is to get some samples from the, the, the pond. There's a lot of sediment in the bottom, so what Nicolette will do is to just stir it up a bit right. without getting too much of the sediment in. But what we want to do is just disturb any of the, the little creatures that are in the sediment. And hopefully, we won't come up with a load of mud here. <laughs> but lots um, of sticks, I'm afraid. Lots of sticks. Yeah. The important thing then is to tip this into one of our trays right. here. Right, put it in. This oh, one just here. put it in this one, look at that, that's fine. If you were doing it at home, could you just use like an ordinary Tupperware dish with a sheet of white paper underneath, something like that, or a glass bowl or something? Yeah, of course yeah. you could, yeah. As long okay. as it's yeah. big enough to get everything in, that's yeah. the main thing. And a white base is obviously very good, so yeah. you can actually see things through. Now, if okay. we just, we'll just remove these bigger pieces of vegetation. Sometimes yeah. it takes a little while to settle. Yeah. Well, you can see, yes, lots of little water mites scooting about everywhere. So if you see those little tiny, see little tiny things, thing yeah. there, that's they're tiny probably the water, easiest thing to see mites. first yeah. of all. Abby, was it you that was here? No, I think it was somebody else. You see these little things here that look, somebody described them as a rocket. And they've yeah. got like a, a, a big bulgy head like that and then two little pointy bits at the back. Yeah. That's something called Cyclops. So it's got its name because it just looks as if it's got one big eye. Um, what else have we got well, here? Well, there was something that looked like a little shrimpy thing. Look, there it is. See, there, oh, yes. there, there, there. Okay, yep. now, ooh, let's get a spoon. And it looks like it's got three tails. Oh, yeah. well, that... Now, I don't know, Abby, you've just seen one of these in the, in the little pot that we've got. Is that what you had in here, do you reckon? Yeah, I think that one's a, very big in that. There pot. is. That's a bigger version of that. Okay, this do you is think? Th yeah. 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 What you've got in in a situation like this is lots and lots of dead organic matter, lots yeah. of leaves, lots of twigs, that kind of thing. And because it's quite, it's it's still apart from this bit here, which is a little bit flowing, um, it's still so all this this stuff s settles out to the bottom and begins to decompose. And this is what these are eating, basically all the all of these things, these freshwater shrimps. Okay, this looks like a bunch of twigs. It looks yes, like a bunch precisely. of twigs. Right. And it's <laughs> but it's not. But it's <laughs> not. It, it's a, what's called a cased caddis. Right. And you saw a few of these, Abby, this morning, didn't you? And go on, Abby, what's what what's what the twigs for? What's it done? Um it's it's wrapped itself in twigs yep. and then soon it'll come out and then it'll be an insect. Brilliant, and yeah. And bigger ones in there. Yeah. Ah, fantastic. So what, the, what this oh, has done yeah. is it's cemented itself, <gasps> cemented these twigs around it. And, and there's another type which we haven't found today, but uses little tiny, tiny bits of shell and stone to right. do the same. So it spends this part of its life cycle protected from predators and uh, camouflaged well as well. This is a, cool. a midge larva. Oh, so those are the midges that come yeah, out so and, that'll, and yeah, drive us mad yeah, in the summer? Yeah, that's yeah. a midge larva. Oh, wow. And it's amazing, isn't it, how at the larval stages, they look completely different yeah, from yes. when they're adults. Yeah. So it seems like the kind of thing that you should sort of do every now and then, all year round, just yeah, see what's, because you will find yeah. different what's coming and what's going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And yep. certainly, if you oh, came out summer. and did this, yeah, in June, July yeah. time, everything would be bigger and there'd be much, much more mm. of it, yeah. I think you've got some more people. Do you want to come and have a look in the trays and yeah. see what you can yeah, find? Let's see. see. It and I'll get out of the way. Me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, you'll see here. some little tiny things just scooting about. It takes a while to get your eye in.